using TK Maxx Treasures is what it might be called, perhaps, I'm not sure. Um, can't really call it Magical Misery, yes, because I quite find, well, I find all these products to be quite magical. Okay, maybe there's one Misery product, but that's because I suck at putting them on, so we'll just get through this and uh, see how I go. Um, I've literally just this morning been doing a You Now stream as well, so I'm on You Now, now. Um, and I've actually used um, my PlayStation tag Sifro86 so if you want to go over to you now and catch random streams with me just as random as this channel um, go over there search for Sifro86 capital S I'll put that here somewhere so the spelling of it is there for you and uh, yeah just fan me give me some likes uh, because apparently that does something I don't know what I'm very new to it um, and uh, yeah, so head on over to there and you'll find me at random times of the day just doing streams, usually about me eating something, like usually I'm cooking or making something because there's not a lot of cooking stuff over there, so I figured I would do that, so that's like my main theme over there, but head on over there, give me some likes and fan me and we can chat and stuff over there as well. So, let's get into this stuff. So this has all come from TK Maxx over the years. Um, Except this, actually, I'm just going to throw this out there. When I went to Bristol a couple of weeks back, you may have seen the video previously to this one, um, I went to Benefit and they gave me some freebies. Me like the freebies. And I'm just trying them out. So this is part of their Boing collection that I used to have. They used to look... I have got one here. They used to look like this. That product was very familiar to a lot of people. So that's what they look like. I don't know if they're changing it completely. I think they might be. Because on the back of this, they've got all these new looking pots of stuff. So they probably are changing it from this to these now. Um, I never really, this was good, but I never really got on with it. It dried my under eyes up quite a bit. So they're changing them up. And this is Boing Brightening Concealer in number one. I've used that today under my eyes. It's made a huge difference. It has made a massive difference. So this one here that I used quite a bit of, I don't know if you can see that was good at the time but I don't know it just seemed to be a bit too dry but this new stuff looks like it's going to be awesome so they've given me a few different ones to try and um yeah at the moment I'm liking that so that's the brightening concealer number one that I've got under my eyes so I thought I would just let you know about that so with that out of the way um let's get into my TK Maxx goodies some of these bits you would have seen already so in previous videos for example the coconut oil everybody remember this this was a long 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 time ago I did a video with coconut oil and this has lasted quite well I don't know if you can see how much I have left it's really not a lot like I don't think you can see I can see it through the light but it's like down to here now which doesn't look like I've gone through a lot but you only need like a few drops of it with things so this stuff is still good I will be getting another one of those because I love it it just does wonders for my skin um, Something else I picked up in there was from the Vintage Cosmetics Company. Now, I've mentioned to you before, I forgot I've actually got brushes from there too. So, things like this, these brushes, this great big one, again, you've seen this in a previous video. So I've got this from TK Maxx. I picked up these. I think they call them, sp I think they call them spoolies in some places. So these are like $1.99 and they're really handy for like, um, when you're doing mascara or if you're doing your eyebrows, that kind of thing. So these are really handy. It's just helpful to have a few extras of these around, so I've picked them up in there. Another brush. I, I've got quite a few of their brushes actually, but yeah, just, it's like, I haven't gone through the brushes. I shouldn't, I should have done that and I've completely forgot, so <laughs> we'll just stay on track with this stuff. Um, recently I went in and I got Lip Care Balm, three of them by Malibu for $1.99. Now these are like quite expensive, they're normally $3.99. And I got one of each in the pack. So I got tropical flavour, I got strawberry flavour, and I got vanilla flavour. I don't know why they call them flavour, they should call them scent, because you don't eat them. So they, could, they should say like strawberry scented, not that you're going to eat them, I don't know. Um, yeah, so they're the Malibu ones, and they have SPF 30 as well, so... And they are really nice, I've been using these since I got them, which has been three weeks now I think. They are good, really like them. I think I prefer these to my um, Dr. Organic one from, what's it called, Holland Barrett. 
So yeah, and I rave about them, so I think I like these ones more. Um, another thing that I got again from the Vintage Cosmetics Company in there, they do have a lot of eyelashes in there at the moment, and these are normally £6, I got them for £2.99. I am horrendous with applying eyelashes. I am horrendous. I have done it once using these, and I had to cut them down, and I cut one too big, and one too small, and I literally just put them on the outer edge of my eyes, and I'll be honest, this is the ma this is the misery bit because I suck at I suck at these. I'm no good at them. I have tried many times. They are not my thing. I don't think I will ever go down that route of applying false eyelashes. Um, something else I got in there, which a, pop a lot of people are gonna get. Ugh, that's disgusting. But let's get real for a second. We all get bad skin from time to time. So I found this little device, which is actually for not so much these because like this here is like it's not a spot. It's just like a red lump. It's not a spot, it's really weird. It just popped up there one day and I was like, okay, it's a spot, it's not. So that's really annoying because this is actually really, really good. You probably have seen these like online places um, already, but they are good. Now, it's a bit weird to begin with. You see how it's raised a little bit? You literally drag that flat base there across your skin. And then this here, this is so sharp. This here is to pop, um, like, real bad spots, things like that. It works really good. I haven't had any, like, bad spots to try this end on. This, though, I have had a go at. And you literally just press it into your skin over, like, a problem area. You press it in. And, obviously, when it presses it down, it pushes up the problem area. And then you just literally drag it across and it pushes everything out. And it catches it in here, which means you just wipe it off. It's so good it works really well um it's actually helped clear up my skin a lot i have mostly like i have like a few here problem wise i don't get anywhere else it's just really here so to use this was actually really handy so if you see one of these give it a go um because i've tried things like the face peel that black face peel i've tried it a few times and it doesn't really to me pull things out whereas this actually works well for my skin so if you see one give it a go um i only paid two pounds for that so that's not too bad i think they are a lot more expensive in other places but yeah if you see one in tk maxx try it out this is why i like tk maxx because you literally just spend not a lot of money but you get to have good stuff to just see if you like it um for example like this here this is an eyeliner by nars cosmetics NARS is not something that I really see over here. I can't just walk into a shop and pick it up. But I found it in TK Maxx. Um, and now, these are expensive. I did pay £6.99 for this, which everyone's like, that's an eyeliner. It's £6.99. What is wrong with you? But they retail at £20. So I've actually got a NARS one from TK Maxx for £6.99. And obviously you don't get the whole array of colours when you go in there. This one, I couldn't tell you the colour of it because it doesn't say it. But it is like a nice sort of olivey brown it's got a nice sort of shine to it that is the color of it there it's really lovely like i picked up i thought i'll give it a go just to see what the formula's like and i wear it most days actually i just do a line of it and i smudge it out this is good stuff this is really good stuff i mean if they're all 6.99 i will go for them but yeah like i said i can't find this stuff just anywhere and the price of it like i would not pay 20 pounds for that i wouldn't pay 20 quid for that but 6.99 for that yeah, definitely. Um, I also found something from a company called Me Me Me, which does sound familiar. They've been around for a very long time. Me 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 does sound very familiar. I think I had some sort of highlighter or bronzer from them like 10 years ago. So the name does look familiar. I haven't really used these yet because I think I bought them because I like the colour. Um, Oh wait, no, I have. I've used this one. I used this one in a previous video. I think it was my Symmetra video that I used this in. So there's your packaging. Um, I can't remember how much these cost now. I think they were like two ninety nine each, something like that. Nothing too expensive. Um, and it's a double-ended one as well. So you get a large um, pencil one end and then a slightly slimmer one at the other. And they are slightly different colours as well. So you've got a lighter colour there. And then you've got a darker colour this end. But these are really fun just for like doing over the eye or under the eye or like I'll link the other video up here somewhere, the Symmetra one, doing stuff like that. So yeah, they're, they're really good. It's always handy to have like a big pencil of colour. If you don't have one, get one. It's always handy to have. 
So I'll just show you the, the purple one. The purple one is exactly the same, just it's in purple. So exactly the same, big end and a little end. You've got a lighter end and a darker end. So the next things I have are from the same company, which is Too Faced. I found Too Faced stuff in TK Maxx. So I was like, oh, let's have a go. Because I look at Too Faced stuff and I'm like, yeah, it's nice. But for that price, uh, I don't know. Now, I know there'll be a lot of people that say, oh, well, you know, Too Faced cosmetics, like what they put in them is going to be better than what other people put in, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, great. But I don't want to blow, like, to me, like, what would be a large amount, like, 20 quid on this. I don't want to, like, blow 20 quid on that just to find out, actually, I don't like it. You know, I'd rather blow money on cheaper stuff, like, where I find it in TK Maxx to see if I like it or not. So, for example, this here, I paid 5 99 for it. I don't know if it's that price normally, I don't think it is, but this is um, the Too Faced 3-Way Lash Lining Tool. It is an eyeliner. We all know by now that I'm no good with eyeliner as well, so <laughs> I figured out oh, three ways of doing it, that must be easier. It's basically like three, it's like a dotting tool, I don't know if you can see that. So it's got three tips to it, so to speak. So you can use it that way, that way, or you can dot it along the eye. Still can't do it. <laughs> so for 5 99 I would rather have tried that at that price instead of going, oh, it's however much, and then found out actually it's no good. So yeah, that's, that's why I do this. I also picked up something that I've never seen them do before, which was a bit weird for me. Um, this is Too Faced Bulletproof 24 Hour Shadow Liner, and these have been around before. I got a silver one. Now I bought the silver because silver is quite fun to have as a liner anyway. But on this end, you put it on your eye and then you have this sponge here. And that basically smudges it out. Now they do work quite well except from the sponge tends to pick the product up more than anything. So that's the only annoying bit is that that sponge doesn't tend to sort of just smudge it out. It picks the product up. So I would have suggested really a brush on the end would have been better. Maybe that's why they were in TK Maxx. Maybe they've been discontinued and that is why. Because, yeah, the sponge just picks the product. It doesn't actually smudge it around. And then I've got exactly the same but in like a purple. And these are sort of metallic-y, which I quite like. I do like how they're sort of metallic-y. But yeah, I thought it was interesting. And obviously to get them out, you just twist it. So that's nice. So I picked this up a few weeks ago. This is by... Is it Siat or... I don't know. I don't know. How you, I don't know how you say this. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how you say it. That by London. <laughs> like I don't know how you say that. But whatever that is, I have it. Now it's called Custom Kiss, and straight away I was like, okay, so it's gonna customize your lip color. Got it. Um, but there are two shades. There's Why Not Try Undress and, and Bitten. So they didn't have the top one, which obviously has a slight pink tint to it. They only have the bottom one, which is this one here, which is the one I've got. Um, which is fine because pink lips don't really work well with me. Whereas like a slightly orangey colour or brownie colours tend to work better. Because because of my skin colour, um, if I have really bright lips, it's so noticeable. It's kind of weird. So the, the slightly orange colour was absolutely fine. Um, but it does tint your lips ever so slightly. Um, and the consistency is a little bit sticky, but I do really like it. Again, it's a product that I'm happy with. So, see, whoa, see all that? So that's the applicator there. And this stuff is really quite sticky and things. So, but it is really nice. It goes on nicely. It's not super long wearing. It will not last ages because it is more like a gloss. So if you eat or drink, it will come off. Um, and I can't remember how much I paid for that. I think it might have been like 2 99 something like that. It's not huge amounts of money, which is what I like. Something I've wanted for a long time as well, and this is by W7, who do the Urban Decay, like, naked dupes. They've been around for a long time. So this is by W7. This is Shade and Swap. This is actually a, a makeup swapper. Something I've wanted for a long time. Um, and I think the recommended retail price on this is like 9 99 I got it for 50p. Look at that. 50p. I was so excited. Um, to find out, it's actually more like a sponge. So yeah, this is what you have here. And then you just take it off. And then you have this 
sort of stuff in here. You can buy this stuff, I'm not going to lie. You can actually buy this stuff and put it into a pot and make your own. I'm not going to lie. When I bought it, because I've seen these with other YouTubers, like, oh my god, it's such a good idea. When you do your eyes, then you just brush it off, pick a new colour, good idea. It's actually just one of these sorts of sponges. So you could actually buy something like this and just use this all the time. So you can even save yourself 50p and make your own. But I saw it for 50p and I said, that sounds like a bargain, let's get it. Um, and I think they've still got some of these in there as well, so... Um, yeah, I do like it and I have used it quite a lot. Um, Revlon. I picked these up. I don't actually know... I've never seen these before either. These are 4 .99. I got them for 4 quid, so I still get like a pound off. It's not too bad. Um, I think these were meant to be lip stains. Um, yeah, Revlon Colour Stain Moisture Stain. They don't stain. Just going to say that now. These do not stain your lips. They're not like the Benefit lip tints that I've got that actually stain your lips. They go on your lips. They're really lovely. My favourite one is this one. This is my favourite one. But I have not found them to stain my lips. Like, they read. Like, with actual lip stains, they actually do stain. These ones do not. They just don't do that. This one I like, though, because... There's your applicator. It looks like it's going to be, like, quite a skin tone kind of colour. But when you actually apply it... It's got like an orangey gold tint. It's very pretty. I do really like this. I think it's really, really lovely. Um, I don't know if you can see actually in the bottle. That's probably a better place to look. So you, you might be able to see there it's got like different tones. So it's got like a goldy, orangey tone. It's very, very pretty. That is my favourite one out of the two. I have used it quite a lot. It's very lovely. Um, I don't know if it's actually got the names on it. Hang on. Ah. So, you've got Shanghai Sizzle, and then you've got London Posh. London Posh is my favourite one out of the two. I do like to have red lips sometimes. It is quite, it's quite a change. But see how pale it makes me look? Super pale. Whereas like this, it's just, it's just more my colour. Just suits me a bit better. But yeah, so they came with like a nice little pack as well. And I am happy with that because, like I said, I do like them. So they came with a little pack. Um, and then I got something that you've again seen in lots of previous videos is my Stilla Stay All Day Prime and Anti Shine Balm. I don't think they're making this anymore, which is a shame because I really like this. There was a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I really, really, really like this. I thought it was fantastic. Um, but yeah, I, I thought this was great, and I can't remember how much I got it for. I think it was like a tenner, and normally it's sold like 20 or 30 quid. I'm probably really overestimating, but. Yeah, I don't think they do it anymore. So I've had to buy the Revlon one that you would have seen in a previous video. Again, I'll leave all these videos in links up here. Because I want to get one as good as this. Because this is... I mean, you put it on, it literally just takes the shine off straight away. It's really, really good stuff. So, I just... No matter where I've gone, I can't find it anywhere. So I'm a bit like... Mm, I think they've actually stopped making it. But it was really good. Again, TK Maxx. Fantastic. Um... And my last thing that I bought in TK Maxx so far is by Bare Minerals. So when I saw this, I was like, I've seen Bare Minerals. I remember when Bare Minerals actually came out and they were actually pretty cheap. It was really cheap stuff. Um, I think because they were trying to see if people liked it or not. But I remember when it first came out. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember when it first came out. Um, and yeah, and I didn't really think much of it. And then it seems to have grown and boomed and like gone really mad with what they do. So when I was in that, I thought, well, I'll give this a go. And they had a few different ones. A lot of the shades weren't my sort of shade. I probably wouldn't have used them. But this is the one I picked up. So this is normally £29. This is called The Good Life. Um, you've got the shades um, Opulence, North Price, and Blackout. So £29 for this. £29. Hear me say that. £29 for this. I'm outraged. But I do actually, obviously, obviously I buy like Benefit things for 40 something quid and I've got my um, Decay palette which was like 40 something quid. But to be fair, you get more in those than you do this. You only get four shades. Four. You get four for £29. <laughs> so you get four shades. Those are the shades. Um, I'm going to be honest, I haven't really got around to using it. I've swatched them. The feel and the texture is pretty damn good. It's it's a nice texture to them. They are lovely. Um, and 
what was really sad is that when I opened it, right, the first thing I did was it said that had the little hello thing on it. I just went, oh, you had me at hello. And I'm thinking, how many other people have bought this and done this? Oh, dear. So, yeah, I thought that was actually quite a nice little thing that said hello to you. So that's quite polite and sweet. But, yeah, so £29 and I got it for £6.99. So this is why I just say to people, like, just swing in there and you will get high-end products for, like, practically nothing. I mean... Too Faced, NARS, Bare Minerals, Revlon, Stiller. Stiller's, there's always something with Stiller in there. But yeah, I mean, you've got to be picky um, and sort of figure out what you would want. The only downside is going in there is that um, what they've had to do now is they've had to tape everything around. So this is all security tape, so you can't steal it. That's not the bad thing. The bad thing is, is because they've taped it all around, you can't see inside what you're getting. So you have to literally just hope that it's going to be okay because when I picked this up the colour had been ripped off the end there it's just white so I didn't know what I was getting there's no colour information or anything on the box there was there was nothing just said eyeliner pencil and I was like okay so let's just go for it and I was lucky that it was in the shade that I really like so much um same with with anything like this or the Too Faced ones or the Stiller ones the packaging on Stiller is actually just brown packaging. There isn't any colours on it or anything to show you and you can't get inside them now in TK Maxx because pe people go in there and just pull it apart and try it and then just put it back or they leave it in such a mess. So I can see why they've done it. It is really annoying. Um, but yeah, because of that, you can't see what you're actually buying. So it is a risk, but like I keep saying, for those prices, it's quite a fun risk, um, it's not too bad. And if you live your life with like, oh well, you know, hit and miss, don't worry about it, it's never gonna be a problem. If you are one of these people though that goes, oh, six nine is still a lot of money, you know, if I, if I get it and I don't like it, you know what kind of, then obviously don't take the risk. But I quite like it. I like the surprise of, oh, this is definitely me and this is awesome, I'm really lucky, I'm really happy that I got this. I do quite like taking that risk because nine times out of 10, I've actually been very lucky. So yeah, so I do suggest that you pop into your local TK Maxx store and see what there is because you know what you're going to find. It is quite interesting and they do have new things in there like every month. So yeah, it's quite fun to see. Um, and yeah, I'll leave around here dotted about um, some videos. There will also be a poll here. So click on the poll and choose what character... I should do next inspiration from. Um, again, my previous video, my Symmetra inspired makeup, I did actually have a poll there for who you wanna see next. I think at the moment Diva's winning, which would be cool, because Diva's my favorite and I haven't done Diva yet. Um, I've done Tracer, Sombra, Symmetra, um, but I haven't done Diva yet, so I really want Diva to win because I really wanna do something Diva-ish. I don't know what I'm gonna do, probably, it'll probably be like really terrible when I actually get around to doing it, because I've watched it for so long, it'd just be cack, but. <laughs> But yeah, if um, if you could go there and just take the time to just pick one and vote, that'd be absolutely fantastic. So uh, thank you very much for watching and find me on Instagram, you now, Twitch, and here. So yeah, give me a like, a thumbs up, leave a comment below, find me somewhere else. It's all good. Thank you so much for watching and bye.